flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make you grow up. Okay. Hey y'all. So I'm going to be doing a video today and I'm going to be doing my own nails. Now I have to do some explaining because <laughs> you see I already have two done and I did these probably last week and I ended up recording it but I wasn't able to finish like the whole set so I was just kind of over it. I was like okay I missed my little opportunity to get these done. But I'm in today and I have a little bit of time. So I'm going to keep these because I ended up liking how these came out. But these three, I was just having trouble with my application. So I said, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to redo them and I'm going to record it while I do so. So the design that I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a water marble. But... I mean, I still don't know how I feel about it, so I may change the design. I don't know, but I know I'm gonna put something on top. So all I need is a nude base. So I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish how I would build up an application. Now, mind you, my application is going to be different because it's on myself. So that's a whole nother beast. And y'all have seen me done my nails before, but I, I still like to, to mention it's different when it's on yourself. Also, I'm going to be using some monomer that I, first of all, would not use on my clients. It's just like a practice monomer that I have. I got from my local nail supply store, but bay bay, it is fast, <laughs> okay? I know I have been mentioning in some of my uh, other videos that I want a fast monomer well i thought i did okay because <laughs> this back this little monomer right here you have to keep up with it okay and i'm trying to get used to it just to see how i like it but i don't know and like i said i'm not um like using this one on my clients it's just for myself or when i practice i use my practice hand something like that so i won't be using up my good monomer you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna start by doing some cuticle work. And like I said, I've already taken what I had down. So that's why you still see a little bit of acrylic on there. Also, I was doing some um, painting. So that's what that is. So I'm going to start by just running this at the back of my cuticle area. And then I'm going to come down or up against these sidewalls, just like that. Do the same thing on this side. And I, like I said, I have been trying to get these nails done, y'all, <laughs> for like a week and a half. I have been struggling. I just haven't had the time. Um, mostly, I'll try to do it in between clients, but I've been so busy. I'm just like, ugh, when am I going to get a chance to do my own? And then this weekend, we had family come in and everybody, oh, let me see your nails. And they were looking like trash, honey. I said, please don't. Please don't look. <laughs> Cause they're not done and I, I don't have the time to do them so we're gonna try to get this moving today for sure so I got my cuticle work done now I'm gonna come in with a sanding band and just go over that nail I don't need a lot but I'm gonna clean it up for sure and I'm gonna start back here at the cuticle area so Whatever that bit didn't get, my sanding band will get. So once I have that done, I'm gonna come through and just go over that top part. And like I said, I have a little bit of acrylic left. As long as you have it smooth and you don't have any layers like our, our acrylic sticking up it's fine to leave it um i choose to leave it just because i do not want to do any excessive fouling on the natural nails in my last uh, video the client that i had she had some remaining acrylic on her nails it was red so i guess people were thinking that it was open but no honey it was just acrylic you never want to work on anyone who has open 
sores, bleeding, uh, infections. You can tell infections by swellingness if the nail is soft. So that's a no-no. I'm gonna get these all smooth out this acrylic and then flushed out. So like I said, I intend to do a marble design. I have been seeing tons of marble going around. And I was like, you know what? I remember like when I first started, water marble was very, very popular. And that's kind of what some of this marble has been reminding me of. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. See what I can come up with. And it's pretty, mm, touch and go like finicky so I don't know how how it's gonna work out so we will see okay so I have that all smooth going to get my nail brush and just brush any of that dust away now I am going to take a ball bit and kind of clean up back there at my cuticle area I think I'm gonna use these. I think that's what I used on, on these ones. But these are pretty much tapered square, but I'll just cut them into coffin. So I'm going to file right here where I'm going to meet my natural nail because these are real sturdy. And I don't have time to be waiting for these to dry and stick to my nail. This just helps with the adhesion this glue I had tons of this glue and I hadn't even used it and I was like let me try this little glue out and I think I tried it before and I didn't like it but I've been liking it here lately so I'm gonna take that place it right there at the tip just press down just like that and all that glue, I'm going to quickly come in and just kind of wipe that away. Okay, now I'm going to get these measured out. I don't want them too long. Okay, now that I have my length established, I'm gonna come in and since these are tapered square and I told you I want coffin, I'm only going to nip off just a little bit on the sides. I don't wanna do too much because you can easily get carried away when it comes to filing and I'm not trying to do that. I don't want no super skinny coffin. I just, you know, want it a little, little tapered. So I'm gonna nip those. All right, and then I'm gonna come in with my foul and I'm gonna start up here and just start fouling in. Okay, once I have that done, I'm gonna come in one more time with my sanding band and smooth out this little area right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Okay, remove dust. That's constant. <laughs> want to make sure you have a clean surface when you start getting ready to work on these then I'm gonna take my nail brush spray it with some alcohol and from the back of my nail to the tip I'm gonna clean that surface okay that is my prep my first stage of the process now we're gonna get into application Okay, now that I have all of that done, I'm going to come in and do my dehydrator. Now I'm going to prime twice. Okay, so now for my little pink color that I'm using, this is just a self mix. I ended up just dumping a bunch of stuff that I had into one, you know how I do it. So let's start with this one. Now, like I said, since this one is fast, I'm going to change up my normal process. Normally I would do maybe three, three beads, something like that, but I'm gonna do more than that, I, I, I feel like because I want us to work with smaller beads and smaller portions. So I want to start at the tip first. I'm going to start right there. Bring it down and start forming it. Blend out the back area first. And then I'm going to start shaping the acrylic. I'm doing that by controlling the sides and bringing it in. And then I'm going to smooth out the top. Okay, I'm gonna pinch off the tip. I'm gonna look at it from this angle. Now I'm gonna just start working my way up. So I'm already at three beads. I'm gonna push it in, blend out the back first, and then just bring that down. Okay, I've already got a little bump going right there so this one i'm going to focus more for my apex put it right there where that tip meets the natural nail i'm going to kind of hold this bead right here in the center flush out the back and then i'm only going to blend out the bottom here Now I'm gonna come in with my cuticle bead. And for my cuticle bead, I'm going to wet the back of that area. 
And then I'm gonna come in with my bead and I'm gonna try to get close here so I can see. Push it back and blend down. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it up. Okay, I need a little bit more at the back. Okay. So I have my apex nice and built up. I feel like my tip is good and I can't even remember how many beads that was maybe. Let's see, five, maybe six, <laughs> but they were small beads and I just built them up. Okay, application done. Now we'll move on to filing. Okay, so for my filing, same thing, I do it differently than what I do it on a client. On myself, I like to use more of the hand file because it's just easier for me to really get in there and shape these nails. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my hand file and I'm going to establish my sharp edges first. So I'm going to really start sharpening up this shape. So I'm going to start by just taking my file and working these sides. So I'm gonna start down here and just work my way up. It's good to have a nice sturdy file. You want it thick and you wanna hold the nail. So of course you're not hurting whoever you're doing, yourself, the client, but also it's going to give you pressure against this file on this side to create a sharper edge. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. And when I'm working my way up, it looks like I'm just doing one motion, but I'm actually putting pressure here and then I start putting pressure up. Okay, I'm gonna check it. I'm not gonna go crazy because that's how you end up with wonky nails. So I'm gonna just straighten it up a little bit more. Check it, see if it's coming along. I'm going to take out all this underneath Same thing on this side. I'm gonna take some just to sturdy my, my nail, try to hold it and then bow that tip. Okay, maybe a little bit more and I just keep looking at it from you know all different angles to see if I need to take some out over here maybe a little bit here it's all about just eyeballing it now I'm going to start fouling my sides first okay so I have that side done you can clearly see where it's fouled and where it needs to be more fouled. If it's not white, then it's not smooth. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
And then I'm just gonna work the middle just to even it all up. Okay, once I kind of have the tip done, I'm gonna come back in with my sanding band and do that back area. I'm gonna start on the side and just work my way around. I'm gonna go down the center just a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna move on. Okay, so I went in and buffed these nails and then I went and washed and now I'm ready for design. So, after I've done all of that, I'm going to cleanse these off. I don't want anything interfering with my design. So, like I said, I'm gonna try and do some water marble. So I'm going to do first is add a white gel base because I really want these colors to pop because the colors that I'm going to be using are just regular nail polish. So I'm gonna use a base. So I'm gonna start off by just um, doing me like a little side action here. Let's see, I'm gonna start like that. Okay, so I got all of my tools out and ready to go. I'm going to use just a regular cup. If you had a plastic cup or a paper cup, of course that would be better, but this is all I have here. So I have some bottled water and it's good to use room temperature water. And I'm just going to fill this up all the way. Okay, now I'm going to be using these polishes, they're regular polishes. And you want to use something that's thin, not too thick. That has to be kind of like a must. And I'm gonna shake these up and I'm gonna open all of them and get them ready. This is a fast paced type of design. You have to be fast before the polish dries up on you. Now I'm going to take my tape. I'm gonna protect my skin. So right around there. Get off my glue. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm also going to put a piece down here. Gonna come onto my nail a little bit so I don't have too much to clean up on my nail. I got my little Q-tips ready to go and I'm pretty much going to just dip each color onto each other Okay, so after messing around with the colors, I've kind of narrowed it down to just these three, the pink, purple, and the green. Okay, so I'm gonna start dipping my colors and you wanna make sure that you're dipping as close to the water as you can. You don't wanna be too high, you wanna be closer to the water. So when you put in the nail polish, it starts to spread. You wanna look for that spread. So I'm moving very quickly and I'm just dapping those right over the other. And you can do as many layers as you can. I guess it kinda depends on the size of your cup, but I just went with a few layers. 
Now I'm going to come in and with my little wood stick, I'm going to just start moving that polish around. You can get fancy and as you get faster and better, you can start really creating some designs. But honey, I'm just going to be simple and start doing some swirls. Now once I have it swirled to my liking, I'm just going to look in there and see if I like any section of that swirl. And then I'm going to take my finger at a 45 degree angle and kind of place it right over where I want it and then just dip it in. Now I'm coming in with my wood stick and I'm going to clear out any polish that's around my nail. That's important. You want to make sure that you get everything so when you bring your nail out any of that leftover polish won't come onto the nail and when you come out you have to come out very very slow all right i like that so i'm going to move on to this one and then you see these little air bubbles i'm just going to lightly blow those away but if you're doing it on a client you can just take your little q-tip and dab it okay so let's move on and you kind of got to just swirl until you get the the pattern that you're looking for and you want to make sure that you go with a thin section so see how that's spreading out you want to try to go there where it's spread it out at Okay. All right, so I'm gonna just start spreading randomly. Doesn't have to be a certain kind of way. You kind of create the pattern that you want. Okay, so I think I like this over here. So I'm gonna pick up my grabber, have that ready, and I'm gonna dip in. Then clean up. Okay, once I have it cleaned, I'm gonna come out real slow. Just like that. Okay. So I'm gonna remove the tape to reveal the design. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on suck. I know it's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. And this gets messy. I mean, you see, you really need the tape. Now I'm going to come in with some acetone and just start cleaning these up. I'm just going to follow my little outline. I can kind of see it underneath there. Okay, so looking at this, I think I'm gonna outline my edge just to kind of give it some definition. She wanna know me, I stay low-key, I'll gas no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep, body on 10, make you 
girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? So for the rest of my nails, I'm going to do like a two-toned French. Okay, after I have got those all cured and then I went and top coated them, I'm going to come in and do pretty much the croc print. Pour that right over that uncured polish. Make sure I've really saturated with that powder. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the pinky. Hear this? The same thing to the pinky. All right, so all I did was add diamonds, of course, to these nails, and they were done. Y'all, is water marble back? Yes. <laughs> Over here, it is. I absolutely love them. I wish y'all could see them in person, honey. These videos do not do them justice. It takes a little while to get it, but once you do, boom, you're in it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye. She wanna know me, I stay low-key, I'll cast no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep, body on
said it make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. You never lie to me, keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all love, everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good, know it's all love, know it's all love. I've been feeling like the motherfucking man lately. Can't nobody do it like I can daily. Fattest in the lattice in the land. To a fan, yep, fan, yep. I made it where I'm at on my own. Had a couple blocks in the road, but I get to the bag on the loan. I be counting stacks while they grow, yeah, you know me. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I come in town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Good. Know it's all love. She wanna know me, I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on tip, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is going on?